Hey guys, hope you're all doing good today. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Ross, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about my new pedal, and that is the Jim Dunlop Crybaby Mini Wah. I'm sure most of you, or all of you, will probably be familiar with the original Jim Dunlop Crybaby pedal, which is one of the most legendary guitar pedals ever made. This is essentially, as the title would suggest, a miniature version of that pedal. So as it says on the box, this is a tiny wah with a huge sound. Now, wah pedals have been around for a very long time now, so you always know what to expect really when you plug into any wah pedal. You just plug two cables in, your power supply, push your foot down, and there you have it. That's your wah sound. It's not like a chorus pedal or a flanger or anything like that where you have like multiple controls and dials to alter the sound. It's usually you just plug in, use the sound you've got with the pedal and that's it. However, with that being said, that's not exactly the case with this miniature wah from Dunlop. So they've actually managed to cram in some extra magic into this tiny little box, which you can see here on the floor. And what I mean by that is they've included a three-way voicing switch on the inside casing of the pedal. And what that does is it basically gives you the option of three unique wah voicings in one tiny pedal. So what I'm going to start by doing is playing through all three voicings so that you get a good idea of what each of them sound like. And then after that, I'll talk a bit more about the pedal itself. So the first voicing I'm gonna demo for you is H, and that is the voicing that's based on the GCB95 Dunlop wah pedal, which is another wah that's in the range of many wah pedals. Um, so I'm gonna use my Les Paul for this, and I'm running into a Fractal Audio Axe FX2. I don't know if you can see that behind me but the preset is based on a Dumble Overdrive Special. Um, let me get my headphones on for this. So the H setting is how it came out of the box. So that is the sound that you heard in the intro track to this video. I recorded that using the H setting. So, so here is my clean sound on its own. And here is the wah pedal on the H setting. Okay, let's move on to a high gain setting. So I'm going to add in some distortion and delay. So without the wah pedal engaged. With the pedal. Okay, now let's move on to the middle setting, which is M, and that is a vintage mid-ranged focused voicing. So again, here is my clean setting. And with the wah, this is on the M setting.
So you can hear that there's more of a nasally mid-range quality to that voicing. Now let's go to a high gain setting again without the pedal. Within. So you can hear there that the high end is less harsh there and it is more mid-range focused definitely. You can still hear that nasalness to it that you could hear on the clean setting. Okay, now let's move on to L which is a lower frequency based voicing and as Dunlop mentioned on their website this is actually based on the voicing that's used in their Jimi Hendrix signature WAP which I think is really cool I think that's really generous of them to include that in this mini WAP pedal so not only do you have three independent voicings within this tiny pedal but one of them is based on a signature WAP in their pedal range so Thank you Dunlop, that's very generous. Right, now let's switch over to the L setting. Again, I'm gonna to have to go into the back casing because you have to unscrew the plate to get to it. Okay, so let's take a listen to this L setting. Again, here's my clean sound on its own. Pedal. So I can definitely hear that there's a deeper low end there. It there's, seems like there's a wider frequency range than on the other ones which, are, which have less low end and more mid and highs. So I'm already liking the sound of this one the best. Okay, and again, let's try out our high gain setting. Thank <laughs> you. 
a bit too much fun here, if you can probably tell. So you can definitely hear there that as well as there being more low frequency, the high frequencies are a lot less harsh than they are on the mid-range and the high frequency settings, unsurprisingly. Um, so if I was going to use this pedal on a gig, I think I would go for the low frequency setting, the, the low setting that's used in the Jimi Hendrix signature wah, purely because the high frequencies on the M and H settings are just, they're just too harsh for my liking. It's fine when I'm playing at a comfortable volume using headphones in my flat, but if I was to go to a gig where I, I had to turn up an amp quite loud and use the H or the M setting, I just feel like putting my foot all the way to the floor on that wah pedal to get the highest frequency out of it, I feel like it would just slice through my ears and I have definitely damaged my ears enough already, so I would opt for the L setting, which is my personal favorite out of this pedal. Now that I've gone through the sounds, let's talk more about the pedal itself. So to power this thing, you can use any nine volt power supply or a nine volt battery. And to access the battery clip, you actually have to unscrew this back plate on the bottom of the pedal. So there's the battery clip there, as you can see. And the same goes for accessing the three-way voicing switch. You have to unscrew this back plate. That's the switch there. Now, this is really the only minor issue I have with this pedal. And I say minor because most guitar players nowadays use power supplies to power their pedals. So I don't consider it an absolute necessity to have easy access to a battery clip like you do on some pedals where you have a plastic mechanism that allows you to just pop the nine volt battery in and out again. And as far as the positioning of the three-way voicing switch goes, yeah, I would prefer to have it on the outside, but for me, when I first started using this pedal, I just found the sound that I liked, which was the left position, and then I just stuck with it because that was my preferred voicing. So I'm guessing that's gonna be the case with most players who buy or consider buying this pedal as well. The only concern I had prior to purchasing this pedal was, is this gonna be as comfortable to use as a regular sized wah pedal? Most wah pedals are big enough that you can rest your entire foot on this part of the pedal. And obviously for most people, this is not the case with the Crybaby Mini. It's much, much smaller. But I have to say that it is every bit as comfortable as using a regular sized wah pedal. Um, me personally, I usually rest my heel at the bottom here and just have the rest of my foot sort of hanging off, but it's not uncomfortable at all. It feels just fine. And it makes me wonder why wah pedals were so big in the first place and they weren't made in this size to begin with. And obviously it goes without saying that this will be a very popular option for people with pedal boards who want to free up as much space as possible. Okay guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Dunlop Crybaby Mini wah pedal for now. I love this pedal personally. If you own one, what do you think about it? If you want to buy one, do you have any questions for me? If so, leave some comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys.